Here at the Hawks, Junior Morgan Searcy. The Hawks going one and one on the weekend. Uh, Morgan, can you just talk a little bit about the team's performance uh, Friday? You had the game-winning goal at Fairfield, and can you just talk a little bit about that? Yeah, um, we played really well against Fairfield. It was a physical game. There was a lot of fouls, and we were able to have a direct kick right outside the 18. So. Um, we had the opportunity to put it on goal and we finished and capitalized and we held them off for the last 15 minutes even after our red card playing man down. And then this week you guys have Princeton on Friday at Princeton and then home again on Sunday versus Iona. Can you just talk a little bit about trying to bounce back off after Sunday's game and try and get a pair of wins this week? Definitely. Um, our team, we're trying to be really positive. We're kind of chalking the Sunday game up to just a bad game and we're ready for this weekend. We know Princeton's going to be a tough game but we're ready for them and then we're hoping to come back Sunday and get two wins and keep our momentum going. I'm here with Coach Quinn, head coach for the women's cross country and track teams here at St. Joseph's. Coach, um, the team plays second uh, this weekend at the TCNJ Gold Blue Classic. Uh, how's it feel to kick off the uh, season with such a success? Well, it was a good way to start the season. We we have um, we had been away at cross country camp for a week, came back, school started, and uh, we had a meet. So it was uh, an opportunity for the kids to see uh, where they were with regard to the work that they had done during the summer and the work that they had put in at, at camp. We um, actually weren't at full strength. We were missing a couple of people, uh, Maureen O'Donnell and Aaron James, who would typically be in our top five, were not uh, able to run. So um, the first three, our top three runners, um, ran very, very well. Um, Hannah Fuller and Lizzie Barrett uh, both ran 30 seconds faster than they had run uh, in the same meet last year, same condition, so they're pretty far, they're, they're well in advance of where they had been. Um, and uh, we had an interesting surprise. We have a senior walk-on. Uh, she's a senior at St. Joe's, came out for the team this year, uh, our NGM Pietro, and uh, she placed in our top five, so it's kind of a bonus for us. Coach, what's going to be your top focus this week at practices and whatnot, preparing for the Kentucky Invitational this weekend? Uh, we, you know, we just need to regroup. Uh, we didn't have a great defensive performance this weekend against, or this past weekend against St. Francis. Um, you know, we need to um, do the little things better and to give ourselves a better chance to, uh, you know, to be competing at the end of the game. So we gave up five goals uh, against St. Francis, which is unacceptable. Uh, we did get a red card. We were playing a man down, so we were faced with some, you know, adverse situations that, you know, with some young players, we didn't handle the best. So we just need to regroup. We need to play great defense against uh, both teams. Stony Brook and Kentucky are both offensively very strong, so we're going to have to be very cohesive defensively, and we're going to have to capitalize on our in the offensive end. So I would imagine they're going to be pretty athletic, pretty disciplined, and, and we're going to just need to execute in the offensive end any chances that we can create and and uh, and, and get in the attacking third. All right, we're here with Lee Dininger, senior captain from the St. Joe's field hockey team. Well, you guys are headed up to Delaware tomorrow night and then headed to Fairfield this weekend for your first road trip of the season. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the team looking to focus on headed into those two games? Um, for first Delaware, uh, if you knew about last year, we kind of had a, a big falling out. We It was our first game um, at our home field, and we ended up losing 5-4 after scoring four goals. So we kind of have you know a vendetta against them. So we're really excited, pumped up, and uh, the team's looking very well. And then for our first game against Fairfield, uh, again, last year we posted up a loss against them. Um, you know, we're just really fired up. Uh, expecting a win out of both of these teams um, you know all the teams ready and it's gonna be fun going down getting our first road trip games out of the way so we're excited now after your little redemption tour you got five in a row at home mm -hmm. what's it been like just playing at home and with home being on campus as opposed to traveling every day over to Drexel for home games and practice um, it's a lot less stressful especially you know being in school having to you know make the time to get over to Drexel and you know back and forth and especially since you know we don't have our fans 
Um, when we were playing at Drexel here, we have our fans. Um, I mean, the first two games right now, you know, the kids are just getting back. So these next five games that we're going to, um, after these two, you know, everyone's going to be here. The fans, you know, it's going to be really fun. There's going to be a lot of people supporting us. So we're excited, you know, keep our fan base strong um, as it was at the end of last year. Yeah.